and welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Talk Like This. I'm your host, Trey the Barber. Cush in the building as always. And, and and this is your host, Dice the Barber. Because yeah. Paul over there. Paul, <laughs> Paul, Paul you've been taking brother. shots. Paul had Dice muted in a motherfucker. Yeah, I was It's like, just me, Cushion <laughs> Bell, in this bitch. <laughs> and muted Dice. That's what we're going to call that nigga dice. for the show. Muted Dice. Damn, man. Muted dice. Damn, they had me muted on my intro and shit. So, so we back in the building again, and uh, we don't have a, a, a another guest. We are back with our former guest from the last episode. Y'all right. know him from Fuck It, We're Adults, my yeah. man, Bell, New York City. In Belly the Bell building. Here. Belly Bell. Yerp. So Yerp. y'all know how it go. We start our show off with first thanking God for waking us up this morning, allowing each and every last one of us to be here and just to continue to bless each and every last one of us throughout our endeavors. Amen. 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 And we back at it again with them shots, 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 shots. Uh oh, what happened? Y'all, y'all fucking up over there, Paul? Still is just fucking up. Just All right, let's pour these shots around. The while we doing this podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We watching football. We, 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 doing, we, we doing what men do. You know what I'm saying? It's a That's Sunday what Barbershop thing. Talk Like This is all about, is we bring the barbershop feel to you. So if you ain't never been into a black barbershop and know what it's like to experience that. I think it's any that, barbershop. Well, yeah, but black barbershops are a little different. You know what I'm saying? When we have to speak on it. Because right, right, right. It's, it's about us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, like, we are a little different, black people right, in general, because, you know, we cool, we funny. And that's not to say that other people or other races aren't cool or funny, but we are just cool and funny motherfuckers. <laughs> he you know did just saying? say that, but here go the shot. Take the shot. I'm not a racist by any means, so don't nobody say, oh, this nigga Trey don't. Nah, I love everybody. Salud, salud. Kush, come on, dog. <laughs> the fuck is you over there doing? This nigga over there looking at his, his that nigga stacking a porn for the night. <laughs> that nigga on X and XX like a mother. You got that right. <laughs> uh, giggity, giggity. Starring Watch Later and shit. And starring myself, nigga. Uh. No, I'm talking about you. You start that motherfucker to watch later. That's uh-huh. actually one of listen, like, <laughs> like, yo, yo, no, I don't. I'm gonna say like, 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 like that. I, I do. Long. I do. Like when I go in there, I like going on and watching the the, uh, the back shot joints. You know what I mean? Get in, get out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my thing. It is, yo! If if you are on porn longer than seven, <laughs> seven minutes, minutes, yeah, yeah you, you're, you're like like like. You know what I mean? Like I can't sit up there and be watching like a full porn. I episode, don't know how they get into the search. Like some some people be on there and they be watching that shit. It be like it be like a twenty eight minute motherfucking porn thing. I'm like yeah. nigga, like if it's a twenty eight minute, like, it, are you sitting down like drinking if it's coffee? Twenty eight minute. I fast forward right to the and position watching, I like the best. Yeah, exactly, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Show me the back shots. You know what I mean? Let me make it seem like it was me. Get in, get out. You know oh, you mean? like that POV shit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You watch it with the white cocks. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga, look, he, this nigga, they got a white dick and shit. Why would I think that? Nigga? That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 and we ain't about to be talking uh, about my dick. Yeah, I, go I ain't talking about your dick. I'm talking about you watching the POV, nigga, and, and with the white man dick. <laughs> 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 you gotta go straight to the. Hold on, did he or did he not term. say? Did he or did not say? I like the back shots and pretend it was me. Get in, yeah. get out. So yeah. you watch POV. There's not a lot of black POV out there. You must not watch the the black POV then. You, you he know. just said there isn't a lot out there. Dice I see what you be watching. Dice <laughs> it, I see bro. what you be watching. I don't watch POV. I, I don't watch. think that shit whack as fuck. All right, well, so you wouldn't know then. <laughs> Am I, am I right or am I wrong? That nigga watches the White Cocks. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you I mean, say. Hey, hey, y'all can comment below. You know what I mean, do y'all watch pornos for like more than five minutes or, or, or do you just get no, in and get No, nigga watches porn. No, real <laughs> niggas get to the porn site. And Some people like that man, shit artistically, though. Fuck Ooh. all that artistic Ooh. shit. You I get mean, to the porn site. There. You look through the first That's look. That's the spiritual the Kama Sutra the, the motherfucker. On the, what you call it. The box is on the main screen. And you find a box that fits you real quick. Do what you got to do and get the fuck out. Yeah, because 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 I mean because if you click on the box, no, it kind of shows you all the, the main here's parts a, about here's it. Here's the funny thing. Yeah, right. See, listen, Matter you, you have to. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one. one. That's the one right there. That's the one right there. That's the one. Me personally, I have to gauge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't watch it too much. And, and when I know I've watched it too much, it's you when get I, guilty. When I, you no, feel no. guilty. No, it ain't even that. It's that when I go on there and I I know what's on the first couple of pages. Like, if I see the same shit on the first page and then the second page, like, I've been watching this shit too long. But, uh, so, it's, oh, it's, man, I don't know who the it. fuck that is. He looks like a homeless nigga trying to get something to eat. What? 
we just gonna keep. We on good. We gonna keep on rolling. You know Somebody what I'm saying? Came through the goddamn podcast. Right. So I mean, we want to talk about a few. We gonna talk about a few things um, this this week. Um, one of the things I wanted to discuss. Oh. Um, I thought y'all was talking about porn. Oh. They just both walked in front of the in front of the uh, the camera and shit like we ain't recording something. Wow. Anyway. What the fuck? Right. One of the, one of the things I want to talk about this is this is kind of a serious matter, y'all. Let's um, get to it. On Wednesday, November the sixth, five my year, birthday, five year old Taylor Williams of Jacksonville, Florida, was reported missing by her mother. Okay, now the mom says she woke up on Wednesday morning, her back door was open, and the little girl was gone. Now um, the police found some holes in her stories, and they and they wanted to further investigate and further question her. Um, once she realized that she stopped cooperating. Um, now, according to the information I was reading, the little girl, well, uh, investigators actually feel that she's been missing for weeks. They don't know exactly how long, but they feel like she's been missing for weeks. I do know that um, <clears throat> they moved out of their apartment complex last weekend. Now, again, this is prior to her reporting the little girl missing. They moved out last weekend, and one of the neighbors said that she was over there helping her move for a, at least a good 45 minutes and said she saw no signs of any children whatsoever. Mm. Uh, there was another neighbor who said, you know, I, apparently he's known her for a while. She's lived there for a minute. He said the whole shit sounded funny to him because he didn't even know that she had any kids at all because never he's seen never no seen there. no kids with her. I ain't never so seen like no this, kids this shit, this is it's, it's a bit of a mystery as to what's going on with uh, Taylor Williams right now. So if anybody, if you live in Florida, if you're in the surrounding areas or anything. Um, of Jacksonville, and you know what happened to Taylor Williams, please contact your local authorities and just let them know. You know what I'm saying? Like, because this is crazy. I mean, she's a beautiful little girl, and just out of nowhere, she's gone. We don't know if she's been gone for weeks. We don't know if she's been gone for literally a few days. We we don't know how long she's been gone. So if you know anything about Taylor Williams or this situation, please contact the authorities, man. Let them know. How old is this kid supposed to be? She's five. Five? Yeah, and the funny thing is, her mom is her mom is in the military. Damn, the thing is, like, her mom's man, in like in the navy or some shit. And you know, like, depending on how long she's been living close to these people, but um, the thing is, like, you would know if somebody had a kid. Like, they would exactly. see them coming in or out. Like, exactly. you know I mean, it's like, like, did she have a kid for real? For real? Well, or? she had a kid, but nigga, I mean, she she had a kid. Apparently, you know what I'm saying. She's got to have a kid because it's on record that she has a kid. But but um, but, but you do the, have some crazy people out here who um. Who you know? Like, no, like, but like the girl is in the military. Childbirth. She's 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 in the navy. Uh, she's stationed in Jacksonville. That's why she's there. Mm. Her family apparently um, lives in Alabama or some shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it's just a whole. It's just a weird ass situation. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, because like I don't even talk to most of my neighbors. You know what I'm saying? I got a bunch of neighbors. I probably talked to like two of them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But. I still know if they had children or not. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I see them coming and going. I do see a bunch of weird motherfuckers. I'm like, damn, do they live here? I ain't never seen them motherfuckers before. But I still would know if my closest neighbor or something had children or didn't have children. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so right. Yeah. It's, it's just you a weird situation. definitely won't see that shit like, like so. for the neighbor. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the one neighbor, he worked night shift and they ain't see what the hell was going on during the day. But no, I mean, but, but all in all... You know what I mean? We you hope. Hit we we we, we know what I mean? We all right. we all hope we all hope. You know what I mean? That whatever situation we hope and pray for the best. Is, this kid is <clears throat> yeah. We hope and pray for the best, man. But um, it's just, it's a crazy situation. I just stumbled across this, and this was just interesting to me last night uh, when I was when I was researching for the podcast, and it just right. it just really fucked me up because I have children. Um, we all have kids here. You yep. know what I'm saying? So just imagine if if if, if the the mother of your child <laughs> woke up the next morning and said your daughter was gone. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what happened to yeah. her. You know, right. police feel like police feel like at five years old, <clears throat> you just don't get up in your house in the middle yeah. of the night, and open up the back door and, and just walk off. the fuck away. You know what like I'm saying? That. Unless your mama is fucking beating the fuck out you and you're like, yo, this is my chance to escape. I mean, you don't right. know. Some kids might, you might have went outside to go to the front yard and, you know, some kids might. At five years old, Kush, think about it. At kids five years old, listen, shit. in the middle, exactly, in the yeah. middle of the night. Five, first of all, motherfucker be scared to go to the bathroom sometime in the middle of the night. Let alone open the door and walk outside. My son was never afraid of the dark. This nigga that's come, that's that's but that's he's one an, in the million. Yeah, he's an exception, bro. Yeah, he is definitely an exception <laughs> an to the rule. Cause I, I know, I know, I was afraid of the dark. You know what I'm saying? As a I kid, was too, boy, exactly. You know, so most kids are afraid of the dark. So for a little girl at five years old to just jump up and open up her back door and just wander off, eh, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's highly unlikely. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, right, right. 
more than likely the mom did something to this little girl or knows what happened to this little girl and she's she's just now fessing up or you know she ain't even fessed up you know what I'm saying? yeah but yeah because yeah, my, my thing is like um if you start to not cooperate you know what I mean like that's you know that's, that's showing, a sign within itself yeah that's yeah. a sign within itself it's like yo don't you want to find your daughter like like we we trying to figure this out exactly. just like you is you know exactly. what I'm saying like what, why the you moment you stop cooperate? the moment you stop cooperating with motherfuckers then you look guilty you know what I'm saying yep. good looking period yeah, um, I, another thing, one thing I wanted to talk about was um, we recently did a video. Right. La- we, we, we recently did a video last, last week. Last Monday. La- last Monday about um, 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 deaf people using ASL. And and um, the video basically was about um, a couple using um, ASL, using sign T- language. Tell at, them who we had in the video. Oh, my man Shaheen. Um, make sure you check out my man Shaheen. He's real big in the, in the ASL community. What's uh, his IG? Shaheen. At Shaheen on? At, on uh, Instagram. On Instagram. That's the only thing that I know um, about Instagram. But anyway, so to so the video, um, we was all, um, the, the the couple was arguing, but they was using sign language. And some thugs came up on them and, and was trying to check them and nice ask them where they was I played at. the thugs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Trey and I, we played the thugs. And um, we thought that they was throwing up gang signs. So we approached them in the video, and we was asking them. We didn't understand what they were saying. We thought they still was throwing gang signs up on us. They ran off. But but the thing about it is... We, we made light of the situation because we just thought that this was funny, and then, you know, some dummy might actually, you know, go through with this shit. Exactly. And, and, and come to find out, when, when, when I was talking to Shaheen, he had told me, he said it actually happened to him. And then his girl said that her friend down in San Diego, she said that um, it, it's happened to them. No, Nobody was hurt in those situations. But come to find out, a day or two later, after we had posted the video, this thing actually happened. <coughs> Um, there, there were some, um, there were some, uh, a group of guys and they were all using sign language because they were deaf and, you know, obviously they, they all hang out and some, so, uh, some gangbangers seen them from across the street and thought that they were throwing up gang signs and they shot them and they killed them. So, I, now I mean, me personally, I think that, you know, like all this thugging stuff is getting a little bit too crazy and, mm-hmm. and, and, and it, if it comes to that to where deaf people are, are being killed, over over you using ASL, you know what I'm saying? I I, I think so. it's, it's like, just it, it's just weird as fuck because chill, because yeah, we like, <coughs> it's, it's just crazy. weird to me because we we literally came up or Dice came up with the concept and and it was supposed to be humorous, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. That that we you know How would this that really that we thought would happen, but like what we really, really didn't think that a really fucking gang yeah. member would really m- mistake. Like how, sign language how for, for gang signs. Like you know what I'm saying? But like, exactly. and for the fact, that it, and for this shit to really actually happen, like literally days later, like this shit is, is, is fucking crazy. Yeah, like, I, sent, I sent you the screenshot. I was, I was like, yo, look at this shit. This yeah, that like, shit, that shit was crazy as fuck to me. Um, but it's weird because it's like you think like if you, because even in the in the in the skit that we did, you know what I'm saying? We made reference to like, oh, we ain't never seen that set before. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you would think that if you're a gang member. You, you would be able to recognize sex. That was my yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 for for some niggas that like like that's just stupid, or, or man. if they like uh, you know they they may try to talk and you can you can hear it's different or they may not talk like you I don't know. even think these niggas gave them a chance. Yeah, no, no, like not nah, nah, like, nah, yeah. They just automatically they just, just, they just assumed. automatically assumed like not even seeing what what they was throwing up. Like I don't know anything about gang shit, signs man. and stuff. So like I don't know what set is what and and whatever means whatever. But no, I mean it's kind of like all I know is the C and the B nowadays. Like I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, yeah. When I, I was I mean, younger, I, when I was colors. younger, I knew more shit. But nowadays, like I'm just too old to be keeping up with that shit. I, I feel like sometimes it, it's I'm not like, like, up, like I, honestly, not involved a lot of what? times, a lot of times. But no, 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 like, no, no. I know you don't care. But the thing about it is, is that I mean, it's, it's things that we don't pay attention to because because we're not in right. in, in that situation. But like people that are deaf. And, and they live in like inner cities where there's gang banging and stuff like that going on. They like, shouldn't have to worry about. Yeah, you know I mean, like they what? shouldn't have to worry about it, but that's one one worry that they have to worry about. Nah, I, I feel you. you know what I'm saying? Like that's. No, I mean, I think it's crazy. Like the gang banging stuff is like going crazy to where like y'all killing deaf people now. No, I mean, right. just trying to talk to each other. Like 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 nigga, hand signals was intentionally meant for sign language for for actual deaf. Exactly. And, and gang members took that shit and made it something else. And it's like. You basically infiltrating on on day language, I, right? You know what I'm saying. I, I, I really am willing to gamble that these are probably some very young gang members. I'm sure it was, but regardless like of the fact, like this shit is fucking stupid, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna I, I, bring I'm gonna bring a little light into in, some funny to this situation. 
even though it's a, it, it's a, it's a sad situation and it needs to be looked at and taken care of. But can you imagine if there was a deaf gangbanger, like, and he used ASL? Don't you think he'd probably be the best person to throw up gang signs? You know what? Listen, um, <laughs> don't stop following us. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't, don't um, put us on nobody's sites. Like, don't report us to nobody. Like, just understand, ignorance is bliss. Yo, you know whatever, what I'm saying? Nigga. No, but no. What I was gonna say earlier, though, like sometimes, like I've learned living in LA, sometimes ignorance can actually save you. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody comes to you, blah blah blah, you be like, nigga, I have no idea what you're talking about. Then they might realize that okay, this nigga don't bang and give you a pass. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that be the situation. I mean, thank God, thank God, I've been out here for a long time. I ain't never been hit up or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I try to, I try to inform my kids on shit like that because I don't bring them up in that. Uh, yeah, I don't even, I don't even put myself around stuff like that. Like if I, I wanted but, stuff like that, we, I would have stayed we, back. We, we in do dirt, have to understand though. I stay in the valley, right? Nigga. But we yeah. do have, we stay in the valley, nigga. But it's banging in the valley. It's you banging in the valley, like, but it's I was banging in the valley. It is, so, but it's like, like, but like, I'm not, I'm not around that. I'm in, not, I'm in the barbershop. We're Wait, not, but, exactly. but, but dice. We have kids, but I, yeah, so yeah. you know what I'm saying. So right. I, I just, I just keep my son and my daughter educated on shit like right. yo. You know, somebody say where where you from? Like, nigga, I'm from Sherman Oaks. I have no idea <laughs> what, what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they give you a pass. You know what I'm saying? Just, and just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But it's just it's shit getting crazy out here, man. Like, right. It is. Um. Um. My question. Okay. All y'all seen Power, right? Power. All y'all, you, Everybody watched Power last week. You don't watch Power, so it don't matter. Do you watch Power, though? I do watch it. Did you watch it? Yes, I watched it. No, I watched the shit. You didn't didn't like it? You you didn't like it? No. It come right back in January. First of all, (laughs) I hate corny shit in in movies. So uh, uh, I don't like, like, for instance... You knew Ghost was gonna get shot, but you been, for sure knew Ghost was I hope gonna he's get dead, shot bro. when he walked around. He's not dead. I mean, because be they dead. made sure they, that they put they, real they, bold, they, like who shot who Ghost shot. instead of saying who Ghost, killed who Ghost. Killed I, I, I exactly. thought about that too. But the nigga needs to die because if you don't kill him in this in this particular um, show, then you're doing a whole entire show a disservice. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I've I've always felt. Well, I ain't gonna say I always felt, but that over the past two seasons, died from the first season. No, over over the last two seasons, I felt like the only way for this to end well, to have a good ending, is to make is to kill Ghost. I mean, you know because man? because they are coming out with the prequel. I, I think I think Tariq. Ghost Ghost and Tommy. Nah, Tariq got to live. Tariq gotta die. Nah, Tariq ain't gotta kill die. Tariq. Tariq Tariq is a young nigga coming Who up. Learning, die? Listen, no, he's he's learning the game and he's just kill learning. Tariq. He's making mistakes, Tasha but too. that's. I mean, Ghost made mistakes. Tommy made mistakes. They all made Kill mistakes. Tariq and Tasha. Nah, Tariq. Tariq is. I like Tariq. So I think. I like. Wh- Tariq. Who you think shot? Tariq. Tariq the is boyfriend. just like. Who? The boyfriend. Who's boyfriend? Who's Tasha's boyfriend. The nigga that's trying to get at Tasha. The dude. Uh, yeah, you know who. who that I, could well, be one of the. Why? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We gonna get to you. Why? Why do you think that? <laughs> right, like, yeah. the, 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 yeah. Bill, you can't speak yo, on this. Bro. You don't even no, watch no, the no, show. No, 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 like, no, no, nigga, I'm a guest. No, <laughs> the thing is, no, 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 because everybody's gonna give their You're own a guest opinion. Need to listen right now. No, everybody's gonna get their own opinion, and why? You know what I mean? Then we're gonna talk about it. So I just wanna know why he, you think that. He been said, he been saying on some low key shit. He was going, you know, he knows what she dealing with, whatever, whatever. And he he can handle it. She been trying to tell him no, but I think the nigga on some gung ho shit might have felt like he, you know. Go ahead, take care of this. Guy. That nigga need to die. That they shot that nigga in the middle of his chest, and the nigga fell. About probably at least a good thirty, stories, like, like, like at least thirty feet. You two know what story. I'm saying? A story. That nigga needs to die. If he if they come back and he's not dead when this show comes back on, I'm not gonna finish watching it. All right, and, and, and Vel, I, I heard you, Kush, and I'm just going that's your there. opinion. I really don't. Got what do you think, uh, Vel? I actually don't have an opinion because I don't watch that shit. I mean, that's right. That's right. That's right. And I mean, he that's got why, me. This he is got why me. he got Fucking you because that's why I told him, sit his ass over there and be quiet and listen. And yeah. then you ain't. No, he's a guest. He should have an opinion. I what am, you think? I, I am a guest. I don't have an opinion. I think, I think, um, I think Ghost's girlfriend did it. What? Yeah. Now, I mean, I think, I mean, because he, he told her, he said, uh, meet, me at, meet me at the crib. Now, I mean, I've been here in about an hour. She left. She was the only person that that was left inside that building. No. Listen, she was the last person that, that was left inside that building. What I think is, I think that Ghost probably killed somebody that she was dealing with back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And and 
and and he don't know it, but she knows it. That's why he he hasn't smashed it. She hasn't let him beat. You know what I mean? I think that he did some, and I think that she probably did it because of what he did. And this is why this nigga's a barber and not a detective. And not a detective. <laughs> what do you think, then, nigga? I don't think she, she didn't do it. That's for sure. No, the nobody, only, listen, no, nobody the who only, listen, I mean, nobody who was walking why, up did it. They didn't even show her as one of the options. Exactly, nigga. You ain't supposed to know. No, I mean, to. that's the thing. Now, I mean, all of them was walking up to the building. Then you heard a gunshot. And then it went to the detective. And that was it. Nobody made it in there yet. And then it said, who shot Ghost? And it showed you all the motherfuckers that was walking up. That's the, that, nigga, you fucking dumb as fuck. That's why they, they, you, they want you to think that. I, what it's going to be somebody what, what, what you never I, what thought. I do know this. What, it, it, that's <laughs> It's going to be somebody you which, never which thought. Cool, but it's not going to be her. <laughs> I mean, so, so what do you think? If, if it's her, if it's her, think of something stupid and I will do it. It's a fucking show. What do you no, think? I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm just saying. Let, let, I agree. It's let, a let's show, make this no, bet. I'm, I'm let's make this bet. It's if so it's her, they are so passionate let's make about this. Yo. I, this I'm no, let's, so let's, passionate let's make a bet. Let's make a bet. Not seeing the fun in this. This nigga just said, think of something stupid and he'll do it. Please. Right. Yeah. Let's like, let's make a bet. Let's make a bet. Because you gotta you gotta do some you gotta do it too if you if you wrong you gotta do it too. He don't want to do it because he know he wrong. No, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I think we'll both probably be wrong. You know what I mean, but the thing is, I don't think it's anybody who they show walking up. I'll All tell I'm, you that no, much. It's a, one of us gonna be right because I said it's not her. You say it is. D- I'm gonna tell you this. You do, have a high. No, 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 no. Listen, no, no, no. Tell me this. Tell me this. Do you think I put, I put no, hot sauce in my eyes? Listen, listen, listen. I do a hot sauce drop listen, in my eyes. Listen, listen, listen. Do you think it was anybody? Do, do, you, do you think it was anybody who they showed walking? Man, up you there? fucking up the bet right no, now. No, I'm trying to make the bet. I'm trying to make. Shut the fuck up. The bet is the girlfriend. No, no, I'm not betting the girlfriend. I'm betting that it wasn't anybody that they showed walking up there. Switch. No, 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 nigga. No, I mean, I'm betting right. that it no. wasn't Switch! anybody they showed. No, yeah, different topic. No, nigga. Different answer topic. me. Do no. You, no, no, nigga. No, do you I'm think not, it was no. anybody they know. showed? Switch! I don't know. What I do know is not the girlfriend. I'm not. I mean, I'm the, not 100 sure, The bet sure, is the. The no. bet is the girlfriend. I'm not. No, you I'm not said betting. I think it's the girlfriend. I'm you came betting. up with this crazy story that he done killed somebody that she was dealing with a long time ago. The bitch done been married for who knows how long. She just got divorced. Listen, I mean, some, somebody else said that this they, is the one thing that, listen, that supports. Listen, Dice's that's where he theory. came. That's no, where he came up with this theory. He read that shit. Listen, no, nigga, that, that's listen, my shit. I'm gonna say this. This is the one thing that supports Dice's theory. When her and old boy met before they was deciding to go, and she was like, you know, I want to keep everything open because you don't know that I have got some stuff that's in my past. Exactly. And exactly. She told Tasha, yeah. She exactly. From the streets too. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So we don't know. That's what she I'm might, saying. She might have, you know. That's what I'm saying, oh, nigga. That like, might be, and, see when Tariq and she was. The, I mean, ain't nobody said that she left when he Where said leave. Where your cup Kush? Uh, it's back here. You I got mean, you I'm, got your shot poured from Dice. You've been drinking that dumb juice. I'm not drinking dumb juice. I'm saying, nigga. Nah, both y'all niggas. Possibility, bro. No. I'm being devil's advocate. I said this supports his theory. I didn't say I agree. I said this supports. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, like everybody thinking that, that everybody thinking that she's a saint. I think it. Would, I think she's a saint. I would the think. Bitch, grimy than a motherfucker. I, I, I think that it would turn the whole motherfucking story I think, if it if it was the girl who he was falling for because he let it, he let his guard down. What if what I if what if she was what if what if, what if she on. was with uh what if she was with Pity. Fifty's character back in the she day. She was Canaan girl. Yeah, what is you Canaan sense. girl? That, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it don't matter. It could have been somebody who. All was right, killed. Mr. Stupid has actually kind of made some kind of sense. It could have been Canaan girl. That makes actually, sense. I made sense out of his dumbass comment. But I don't think Canaan would have had a girl that was working for the Democrats. Still convention. dumb. But 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 she also but but she listen but DNA. listen. Somebody also said that they think I don't believe this, but somebody also said that they think it could have been um, Lala's son. And came and killed him because not I mean Tasha had killed. Not I mean he he think that Ghost got his mom killed. Lala, he son don't know that. Don't he ain't know nothing about, right. about nothing. He ain't thought about nothing. So it would have had to been the That's boyfriend or the either. ex, the dad. But Lala's son don't know nothing. This about is what him. I don't right. like about right. the show, right? Nigga, Lala's son and Tariq used to be about the same age. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck happened? Now Tariq like eighteen, damn near, and Lala's son still twelve. And Has he um, been in the bar? He, he ain't been back. Nah, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, Mike, him Michael Rainey used to come to the barbershop. You see that nigga, we jumping that nigga on sight. Why? Because of a show? Because Tariq is dumb as hell, and you Tariq on the show, and you, you Tariq one of them the niggas. I mean, I mean, you turn shows into real life shit, nigga. Like, you you, you get mad at a motherfucker when you see him in the street. You be like, oh, you motherfucker. Like, some nigga, I'm people, acting, nigga. Some like, people play that character that well. That yeah. well. Like, nigga, listen, exactly. Listen, I mean, that mean he playing, a, that mean he doing you. a good like, job. I'll be honest with you. Listen, I, I like Rick. I saw, I saw Blow, right? 
I've hated Penelope Cruz <laughs> since I seen Blow. I swear to God, if I see Penelope Cruz in person, I'm mad as fuck oh. at that bitch ever since Blow. And I know that's a movie Here's about the- a real story. And she ain't the real bitch. But you played that shit so well when she got that So you don't like Re- up, I like I'm Reek. I'm fucking with him on Reek. I'm, I'm, fu- I'm, 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 I'm No, but I'm saying I'm fucking with Reek because I it's like I know why this. Reek is like how he is. Reek, is like, you, you like this because, one, it's just, it's in your DNA. This is who you are. And that's what ghosts don't want to accept that. It's mm-hmm. like, you. this is in your DNA. This is who you are. You know what I'm saying? He has given ghosts several opportunities to tell him the truth about shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why and he keeps ghost, asking him. And Joe, and, and, and right, which keeps making Ghost look like a dickhead because the nigga like, nigga, I already know. Why you, why you fucking lying to me? Ghost is acting so, oblivious to the, to the point that he, right. you know what I'm saying? So, which I is mean, what parents do. Right. But not, nah, and nigga, if my, kid know, if, if my kids know about me and they come and they ask me the real, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell them the real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've told, I've, I've told some things to my daughter about, you know what I'm saying, myself growing up. And you know, I tell her some things like, you're not ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So when you're ready, we'll talk about it. As for right now, you're not. Because even if I tell you, you're still not going to even understand my explanation. Or yeah. you might think that, oh, dad did it. I could do it. No. Right. That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? I've shared these things with you because I was blessed enough to make it out of some stupid situations. And I don't want you to go through the same thing. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but in this particular situation, nigga, you know your nigga selling dope. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's already stole dope from your partner. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you got to be honest with this nigga. Like, he's yeah. not stupid. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, he is. At all. He's open to the game. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you allow Kanan to slide up in your family and drop knowledge on this nigga and introduce this nigga to the street life. And because he did, guess what? It's your job. I listen. Even though, even though a lot of people probably don't um, agree with Tasha, what Tasha's doing, I understand because it's like, fuck it. Nigga, you going to do it. I can't stop you. And that's what a lot of parents don't realize. Sometimes when your kids get a certain age and they make a decision, you ain't going to be able to stop that shit. So you, what you can do is you can help the motherfuckers So let get me along, ask you this you... question, being a parent. If you are ghost or your, your, your son comes to you. If Diego came to me. Mm-hmm. And told you he was going to live the life that you lived as a youngster. And you Diego would, like you would help him down and he that like, road, and he or? like seventeen Hell or eighteen. No. Hell yeah. no. Yeah. Listen, I, I what I am gonna do is I'm gonna be your concierge. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that wise advice because here's the thing. Because you cannot like as as parents, it's our jobs to guide them. You know what I'm saying? So once they get a certain age, you gonna make a de- you gonna make a decision to live whatever life you wanna live because again, it's your life. Mm-hmm. I birthed you, my I gave you this is, life. So listen, it my point is is if once you're a certain age and I realize, like, you know what? No matter what I say to this nigga, he going to do what he going to do. All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> give you the information that I know to make sure that you do it right. If this is what you're going to do and this is going to be your life, understand that there's qu- consequences that you're going to have to live with if you make mistakes. Right. If you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Understand that. And as long as you understand that and you're willing to accept that, if you're an adult, yeah. I can't. And I tell my kids this right now. It's going I can't live your life for you. Right now it's my job to guide you. If you make mistakes, I'm supposed to punish you to help you understand that there's consequences in the mistakes that you make. But once you become an adult and if this is the life that you decide to live, I'm not going to just vacate and leave you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that I know information that can help get you along. You know what I'm saying? So if this is going to be your choice, yes, I'm going to definitely give you the info to help you stay out of jail and help you stay doing what you're doing. Successfully, basically, as much as I basically can. Basically giving them ways to beat the system. Right. You know what I'm saying? But but at the same time, you'll try to let them know, like, listen, I'll, keep, I mean, I'll keep dropping I've been them through, jewels. I mean, I've been through this. I, mean, I, I agree with Tasha. Now, I mean, you could be like, I, I've been through this. You know what I mean? I got a little bit more knowledge. I think it's a whole different type of route I, that you can I, take. You know what I mean? But if this is the route that you are taking, then you, you want to know what I'm... Because I mean, you are my kid. I want to make sure you're going to be good. You know exactly. what I mean? At least until you grow out of this shit, because eventually you're going to grow can, out of this. You, you can... Feel? Listen, my thing is like, you can either you can either be like Tasha and accept what your child is going to become mm. or is becoming and assist them, or... You can keep trying to play this foolish shit, which happens to a lot of parents. They keep trying to ignore or keep thinking that their kid is going to turn around. And sometimes your kid is just not going to turn around. Sometimes you have a kid that will. And if you keep helping them, yeah, they will. But some kids are just, who they not going to do it. They just that person. So if that is you, I ain't going to turn my back on you, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, like, nigga, keep your head up. Watch this nigga. Watch that nigga. Woo, woo, woo. 
and I'm gonna help you help. I'm gonna help you get through because I, regardless, I want you to be free. I don't want you to die. You know what I'm saying? And whatever it is, like I always tell them, whatever you do, be the best at it. So fuck it. If that's what you choose to do, be and, the and, fucking and, best. And, at it. and also the thing is, it's like if your kid decides to do that, like, and you and you know that you was like that, can you blame them? Right. And and if you a certain age now, I will beat your ass. Like if my nigga that's try to sell, like 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 if Diego right now he's in the seventh grade, that nigga try to sell dope, I'ma fuck him up. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I'ma make you fear me before this dope shit. But like, if I if I keep fucking you up and you keep going out here selling dope, and we've been doing this shit for like three or four years, and you 17, yeah. my nigga, I right, you know it's what? It's like it's like because you like, a dope man. You know what I'm like, saying? Like my my daughter, my, <laughs> my daughter, my daughter, my daughter is older now, and she smoke weed. And my thing is like. I can't get mad because she smoked fucking weed. Nigga. It's legal. It's yeah. not even the same. And she's an adult. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Legal, what I mean, but but the thing like is, we were kids. Well, well, she in Jersey. Motherfuckers are still getting locked up for nigga bags of weed if you ain't got your if you ain't got your your, right, your, your right. wreck. You know what I'm saying? So now I mean, I'm like I'm like fuck it. I'll smoke weed with you. <laughs> now I mean, you ain't doing nothing bad. Now I mean, yeah, as, now, I mean to me, you know I mean, that's you that's just smoking fucking weed. Listen, you know once, what I'm my, once my kids become adults. If they decide they want to smoke weed, well, fuck it, I'm going to smoke it with you. Exactly. But as for right now, if you think you would smoke weed in my household, number one, and I won't know, yeah. you're sadly fucking yeah. mistaken. And if you do, I, like I said, this is my thing. This is my what remedy. What if they take weed from you? Nick, like, uh, they take a little I'll bit. I'll be mad. I'll be mad at they, you. I'm like, you take them out weed, motherfucker? They, 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 they take a little bit listen, out your listen, stash. Listen, I, have, I have a story. Weed, I have a story. I can't <laughs> listen. Because when I go to Atlanta, whenever I go to Atlanta, I take my pops. You, you met Godfrey. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. you remember when he stayed at the crib, I left him a bag. So that his but but check go. it out. I he stayed at our crib? You don't even remember that? I don't remember that, nigga. Don't he didn't remember that when he seen me neither, nigga. So shit. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, 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 I was going to say, my fault, Trey, my fault. I, I've taken trees out there and filled up his little jar when I get out there. And then like three days later, I'll be, sure. out of, I'll be out of weed. And I go, <laughs> yeah, look, look, <laughs> look, 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 look. Man, when my, dad, when my dad comes here, nigga, I make sure he's straight. I give him the weed. We go to the weed store. Yeah. I go, you know what I'm saying? I, I make sure he's straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like this. Look, if I always say this. If I catch my kids smoking weed before it is your time, listen. When is their time, though? 18. When 18 you 18 or time? when you graduate, nigga, 18, I'm not going to have you smoking <laughs> weed in my house. When was you smoking weed? Listen, I tried. Listen, no, no, I'm, I'm a kid. no, 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 no. Listen, I tried weed once when I was like super young. I won't say the age because I have children listening. Mm -hmm. Now I tried weed again when I was in high school, and I think I was probably I didn't start really like smoking until maybe like my junior or senior year, and then it was like a every now and again thing. It wasn't a constant thing. Like I would literally smoke maybe like once every two three months or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But if they decide that they want to smoke weed in my house under my roof <laughs> before that time comes, nigga, I say, I'm going to go buy like a half ounce. You know what Smoke them out. Smoke them out. <laughs> oh, you want to get high? Okay. We go. We going to get high, and I'm going to keep on rolling. And it ain't, ain't going to be no breaks. Like, I'm going to light joint after joint after joint after joint after joint to your yeah. ass. To your ass, like, oh, my God. I don't ever want to look or smell yo. weed again. But yo, 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 it'd be funny if it do the reverse effect. Some, somebody, yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> if that nigga can't smoking, hang, here's the thing. And that motherfucker be up there smoking, thing. be like, "Come on, pops, nigga, nah, nah. want another one?" Here, here's the thing. If I realize <laughs> and that nigga you be like, "One more," I don't even want no more weed. Nah, nah, take, first, first of all, I'm you never gonna smoke too first much. First of all, yo, I'm never gonna tap out on weed. But if I realize that this nigga's hanging with me. Like I just said, if I realize, hey, hey, like, that's my boy. That's you. That's you gonna smoke. You gonna smoke, <laughs> nigga. This what's gonna happen. This what we gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, but, you'd be like, nigga, you, you'd be like, like, nigga, listen, how I'm you a, learn how to smoke? Listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this because I, I remember, I remember, I was 15. I was about to turn 16. It was the start of my junior year. My parents went out of town, and at the time, I didn't realize how weed smokers like really kept track of their fucking weed and oh, shit. Oh yeah. Right? So my parents went out of town right. for the you weekend. You spend that money for that my, shit, nigga. My, my parents went out of town for the weekend. My dad left just enough weed on his tray for a joint. Now that I'm older, I realize that was for the shit when he gets back. Right, I right. got a joint until I get to my next bag, and I'm good. But I didn't realize it at that age. And I said, you know what? This nigga's gone for five days. I know this story. He's, He's going, not going to remember this shit. I remember this story. So you know what? I said, fuck it. Nigga, I rolled up fuck the motherfucking that. joint. I fucked it. I didn't even know how to roll joints back then. I, I, I couldn't roll this motherfucker right. I smoked this motherfucker. I didn't even really smoke it right, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga came back. Nigga, I remember it was the first day of school, and they came home on the first day of school. I was gone. 
When I came back, nigga, my mom was sitting at the table. She's like this. I walked in. She said, mm, mm. I said, what? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> she looked at me. She said, boy, you know, your daddy keep track of everything. Oh, <laughs> shit. Nigga, instantly when she said that, my heart dropped. <laughs> now, now look that she had that she had my my dad's sister, you know what I'm saying? It was my step aunt and uh, my play sister who stayed with me. They both was like 20, 21, You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are just a few years older than me. And she's like, now you know, Paul and and, uh, and Layla can't hold water. <laughs> she said, boy, they done cracked and told everything. I said, huh, nigga? I had went and spent the night over at Chick's house. I was supposed to go to my boy's houses. I was supposed to kick it. I was supposed to spend the night over there. I went to a chick house, spent the night. They didn't even know nothing about this. All they knew was about the weed. These motherfuckers broke down and told everything. Wow. Everything. Nigga, wow. my mom was like, oh, so you done went and No interrogation, no nothing. What? Nigga, them motherfuckers <laughs> I hate, didn't. I hate them too. Nigga. I, I mean, they, listen, I, I love them. You did it in front of them? I hate no, them. No, I mean, day. listen, well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was smoking I was smoking the joint, and I remember Layla came downstairs and saw me. I looked at her. She looked at me like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga, they, they just couldn't hold, nigga. My parents, nigga, put the pressure on them. They like, shit, it ain't me. Fuck it, that nigga smoke weed. That nigga, didn't, that, nigga that, that nigga didn't go to his homie house like he was supposed to. He went over to a girl house. He spent the night over there. He came back like 6 o'clock in the morning. They told everything. <laughs> to this day, up. Paula, Paula, uh, Layla, both of y'all some snitches. I love y'all to death, but y'all Snitch? some snitches. <laughs> I don't even know y'all in that They hurt. cracked and folded, bro. Like, I was on punishment, nigga, for like a month. Just for smoking you know, some And weed. here's the funny part. That, the point that I brought this story up because I remember, you know, your parents, my parents, I don't know about y'all parents, but my parents used to sit me down for these long ass motherfucking talks. You know what I'm nah, saying? I hated I these motherfuckers. Nigga, I hated these motherfucking talks. Now, a part of the talk was if you was if you was interested in weed, why you didn't come to us? After the fact. What? Like, oh, so I'm gonna tell you, hey, I wanna smoke, I wanna smoke some weed. Why don't you? They's like, we probably would have smoked one with you. Yeah, the fuck right. I always, I always say that was some bullshit. That was some shit that you tell your kids after you done busted their ass like you could have came to me. I probably would have smoked one with you. No, nigga, probably is not smoking with me. Probably is I'm going to probably fuck you up for asking me this bullshit and you still going to be on fucking punishment. My parents told me that they, they, they was like, listen, like when they found out that we were smoking, they was like, listen, you might as well smoke that shit here. Drink y'all drinks here. I'd rather y'all do that here. Rather than being That's out in the streets and, and, and get and getting locked the fuck up, That's nigga. how my like, boys' parents like, 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 no, I mean, like, like, like they knew we was doing, what we was doing, and like they knew that the cops could fuck with us if we was in our yard. So like we would just sit up there and we would smoke our weed and 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 we would have our drinks. And if the cops came, if we was inside the yard, my my mama, because I live with my mama, my aunt, they would come out and be like, they inside the yard, y'all can't do nothing, we allow this, this and that, this and that, and the cops couldn't fuck with it. So like, my crib was like the party crib. That was like, totally it. Y'all was totally listen, My party was my, my crib was the party crib, but it was not authorized. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, nah, my, nah. my mom's pull up. You niggas better roll the fuck out, nigga. What, 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 what the thing is? Been in my goddamn house. Now nah, listen. What the thing is is that my mom and my aunt they both smoke weed. So the 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 so deal the, the deal was. Nigga, you better give me some of that weed if y'all gonna be out here doing this shit. You, get you know smoked. what I'm saying? You know, if you got one. Not for me. So, so, so the thing is, not me. So since I sold chronic or whatever, nigga, I was the one that was noticing weed coming up missing. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, hilarious, ma, or uh, uh, Tita. Now my aunt Tita, I'm like. Did you hey, nigga, you, you in my weed? house. What you going to do? Nigga, you in my house. You selling weed out my house. Nigga, you keeping, the, you keeping hell, my house no, with your hey, hey, no, hey, hey, no, hey, nigga, no, hey, no, 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 these Jeez. motherfuckers, no, these motherfuckers. You paid a rent, my goddamn it, nigga. This weed belonged to me. These motherfuckers was blunt. And like even if you paid the rent, the weed still no. belonged to me. No, Everything they was blunt. They was blunt like a motherfucking Dutch nigga. They they was like they was like, yeah, I needed to roll something up. <laughs> as as they should. straight up, I was like, as they should. I was like. What can right. you say? I was like, cool. all right. <laughs> Charge it to the motherfucking game. <laughs> exactly. Nigga, that's what you do. <laughs> Vail, did you ever sell weed? You never sold no drugs? Actually, your mom is Jamaican. Did, did your mom smoke weed? I'm not gonna say this. Uh, no. No? Not, no, not at all. Or she just didn't smoke weed around you. Yeah. Did she yeah, date that anybody that sold weed? Yeah. My dad's Jamaican. Like, did he sell weed? Oh. Uh, no. So, so your that dad's Jamaican, not, not your mom? Not, not at all. 
Your dad's Jamaican, not yeah, your mom. Exactly. My bad. They had a lot of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be racist towards your own kind, right? huh? God damn. <laughs> I mean, it's barbershops like this. This type damn. of shit I would ask. Nigga, like, yo, like, were, yeah, were, they, Dice, were they like hey months and shit? <laughs> out of all the barbers I know, Dice has always asked the dumbest question. <laughs> But it, but it, but it, but it be the it shit that I want to know, place. nigga. Like like nigga. You said come from a smart place. It's just a stupid ass question. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like no, I mean, nigga. It's just, yeah, I actually did that. I speak uh, my mind. I did it in college as an RA, which is funny because you was an RA. I was an RA. That ass. I had oh, so good grades. I was an RA. Then, you was smashing nigga, a yeah. lot of stories. No, stories no, that nigga, that that nigga was busting nigga selling weed, taking a weed like hey, you give it to me or I can I can turn you in. They be like here, take the weed. That nigga turn around selling, and you want and look, that nigga take the weed, be like yo. I got a half ounce. You want to buy this shit what? back? <laughs> some, t- tell us some cr- some of the crazy shit you did as an RA. Tell, tell us about being an RA. I mean, I did that shit. Um, like I said, that shit. Uh, who's gonna tell on me? Me. You what, what's, me? what's the RA. crazy? What's the craziest thing you did as an RA? Shit, I had, I for for gone. those for those of y'all who, who didn't go to know, college, yeah, who don't know what an RA is, resident assistant. resident assistant. Resident assistant. That means in the dorm rooms. He is the snitch. Trade it, though. That, that, that's why the nigga was like, who didn't know who an RA is? No, so, nigga, I listen. First of all, I knew what an RA tell was. Me, tell listen, me what it is. Nigga. I knew what an RA was, but <laughs> nigga, I lived off campus. I had an apartment the entire time I was in college, so. It was, it was off-campus apartments. Off-campus apartments. <laughs> and you was a snitch for the off-campus apartments? I would apartments? never snitch, bro. Everybody loved me, yo. Everybody loved so, me. So, cool, go, go ahead. Shit. Give it, give it, give us, give us something. What's the grimy shit you did as an RA? You did some grimy shit. We you, know took, you, you took advantage of your power, bro. Nah. At least from the people you, nigga, that bullshit. you ain't like. You had to not like somebody right, in. Right. And they was partying too much. You be like, nigga, give me that 12 pack. Nigga, nah, like, that's mine now. I was moving out my building. That's it. Oh, nigga, you was Jesus. a fucked up ass RA. Nah, yeah, we'd be ready to so fuck your ass up. Like, damn, nigga, you can have I, a beard, I, nigga. Don't put me out. I would have moved out. I would have moved out and saw your ass on campus. Like, look at that nigga right there. Listen, That's I, was, fuck I, him was, up. I was about that bullshit too. I was an RA, but I was about that bullshit. Yeah. You're PX, son. You already know. You already know. Under boogie down, son. Give up the trees. Nigga gave up on it. Fuck up. That nigga stealing weed. Yeah, and I was cool. You have parties, you know what I'm saying? Just don't have people out in the hallways with the red cups. Everybody know about the red cups, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be too crazy. But yeah, 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 you see the red, you see the red cup. You see the red cup on the hat. The plat- Shout out Plastic Cup Boys, my nigga Naeem and Kevin Hart and all the, the whole Plastic Cup well, Boys situation. Flex? You the only nigga that get a hat. And you go I that. bought my hat, nigga. Oh, okay. I bought it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where you buy it from? Naeem. Hold on. So because he mentioned Red Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, it was, was a good it, blog, it, it, it was perfect time. Not even to shout him out. Shout out Naeem. Shout out Naeem. Shout out Naeem. Shout out Spank. Shout out Naeem. Shout out Kevin Hart. I mean, shout out the whole motherfucking Plastic yeah, Cup. I hope Kevin Hart. I hope he get better. But the thing of it is, we talk a random topic. We know. We know. We know two of the Plastic Cup boys. We don't know. Nah. Oh, oh, oh. Spank. 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 Naeem. That's it. Yeah. We we don't know Kev. We don't know uh what's the other one's name? Why you call the nigga Kev? His name is Kevin if you don't know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kevin. Nigga, that, that nigga, nigga Trey looked at me like me, fuck nigga, you. Shit. I got a question though, because I black. listen to I they show I listen to their show name. all the time. And I was listening, I told y'all I think you you was in there when I said this to Naeem. Them niggas had a topic on there that I would like to present to the table. Well, come on, come on with it then. Trey, nigga. you probably can't answer this, but let's go back. Uh uh the nigga said, What would you do? If you was, you know, you was out on a date with a chick, and you take her home, and when you get home, you drop her off, you know what I'm saying? A dude come out, start whipping her ass. You come to find out, like, that's her dude, or a dude been been talking to her, whatever, whatever. He come mm. out, start whooping her ass. Would you drive off? Would you get out and help? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might, I might. Naeem you know I mean? had the best answer because this nigga told the story. Nigga said he say? actually had this happen. And that nigga said he, when he when he pulled up, the, the chick walked out to the door. When she got to the door, nigga came out for the bush and started whooping the ass. Naeem said he mm. looked for a second, <laughs> he drove off, and then he called the cops. Oh. And it was like, there's a chick back there at this house. Did he ass. say he called the cops? Yeah, I, he called the cops. I might, you know what I mean? I might be attempted to help until I'll be like, yo, who the fuck is this? You know what I mean? If, if, if she'd be like, get him the fuck off me. You know what I mean? Or something like that, then, you know what I mean? I might help. And if I found out later that, if I found out later, if I found out later that it, that it was her dude, you know what I'm saying? I'll be a little bit upset because I'll be like, yo, you shouldn't have been fucking doing that. But if I find out later that, you know what I mean? That was like your ex nigga, then I'll be glad that I fucked that nigga up. So basically, I'm saying, like, I would so have fucked him up. So in other words, Captain Save <laughs> Look at his face again. You will not be on my bitch, you <laughs> fucking criminal. Oh, shit. That's fucking hilarious. 
<laughs> Somebody said, I'm going to drive off because I've been on a uh, supervised release. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, dog. I'm driving I'm off too. Fuck that. Hitting the gas. That like nigga a in the halfway house. He's like, nigga, Spank I ain't got time for this shit. I got to get back to the halfway house. I think Spank said if he hit, he going to get out and help because technically that's his pussy for the night. So you can't beat the ass till tomorrow. Yeah, I remember one time. I remember one time, nigga. I remember one time, like, there was a chick I worked with, right? And uh, her car broke down. And I really didn't like her at the time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, her car broke down. She said, you know, can my car broke down. Can you give me a ride? I know you live near Bobby. I was like, all right, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You got to ride with me, though. You know what I'm saying? So I took her with me. And needless to say, short short story. Long, long story, story short. short. short story uh, long. Long, yeah, long story short. Um, you know, she basically just fell in love with me from that first moment, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, now, yeah. Did you know how this shit be yeah. going. I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Being so, the player listen, that I was. So here's the thing, nigga. So she had a dude that she was living with. Oh, so wow. the nigga was being such a dickhead. Damn. This is why she didn't ask, this is why she asked me for the ride, because the nigga was being a dickhead. Uh-huh. So the next morning, I go to pick her up for work, nigga. She gets in my car, and she goes to give me a kiss on the cheek. Uh-oh. Now, mind you, the nigga in the doorway. Oh. Nigga, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Nigga, I, I duck my bad, Bill. I duck. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> like, nigga, like, I don't. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. This, and now, again, this is Kansas City 22-year-old Trey. So I got heat in the whip. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's too early in the morning to be shooting niggas over the pussy I ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So needless to say, that nigga can't pick their ass up from work that day. <laughs> Listen, like, I walked out, I looked dead at that nigga in his face like, yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> say something if you want to. I got something for you. You know what I'm saying? I suggest you pick your bitch up and keep on rolling. You know what I'm saying? They kept on rolling, but needless to say, I did fuck that bitch like two weeks later. The, but, the, the only know. thing I got to say about that whole story is, nigga, that was the long story. That wasn't the long story short. That's I don't give a fuck. That was just the long story. Like, like, like don't, don't you hate that when somebody say, long story short, and then they just give you... The like a five minute motherfucking story. No, because story I could have. I really. Yeah, I'm not talking I about you. Made that shit no, 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 no. I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about in general. Now, I mean, a lot of people be like, long story short, and then it just be the whole motherfucking story. I hate this <laughs> when niggas say no offense, and then they instantly offend you. <laughs> like, <laughs> why you make the announcement of no offense? Because well, you know you about you, to offend. You, you know that, the offense well, is coming everything. right after that, yo. <laughs> like, well, like no I'm, offense, I'm, but I don't like New yeah, York niggas. Like, like, like you just said you don't like me, then, nigga. Something. It's always something. I'm not racist, but. Like what? What you about? Have you seen that? Have racist, you seen how black about. people eat chicken? Like, like motherfucker, that's racist. Did you see the chick? The rich chick that said that she wasn't racist. It's on CNN. She was talking about. Uh, she asked her chef's wife. She asked her chef if him and his wife used the word nigga, and she tried to say that it was okay for her to say that because she hangs out with Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys, and she was like, Swiss Beats don't talk all proper like y'all do, or uh, Alicia Keys don't talk proper like y'all Who the fuck is this? She's ignorant as shit, yeah. yo. <laughs> this is what I say. I'm going to tell you, this, this, is, this is my thing on the word, nigga. If that shit flows off your tongue <laughs> like it's natural, who am, I to, who am I to judge you? I don't I, know. Listen, I, I got I don't, a lot of white boys from, from back home, you know what I mean, who grew up around none but black people. And 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 they get the pass of saying, saying nigga. I'm I mean, not with it. You know what I'm saying? Like this. I'm First not of all, I will correct you. I will. That, I mean that that Yo, guess I'll what? Wait, wait, time out. Time but I got some white boys. Ain't no no white boys. You let Puerto Ricans do it. You let Puerto Ricans say it. They're black. They just don't know. Exactly. They're black. But these but these white people grew up. But these white people grew up around nothing but black people. But these white people grew up around nothing but black people. They feel like they're dead nigga. They been treated like a nigga. So so if if you hear a white boy call another white boy nigga, are you offended? I haven't even been in that situation. Nigga, I what? I've been in that situation I a lot. Have. I have. I've never been in that situation. I've never heard that. I Listen, think it's you, matter of fact, you met my, you met my white boys from Philly, though, right? I, 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 yeah. I was hanging out with somebody from 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 okay, where you from. Okay, okay, okay. Remember oh, the white oh, girl? I was hanging out with the white girl. She came. Crazy. I met this white. It's crazy as shit. I met That's this, different. No, no, listen. No, nigga. Listen. I met I met this white girl. I met this white. Listen. I met this white girl off black people meet, son. Random as shit, son. Anyway, well, that's wrong through. right there. I know, nigga. I didn't know, but anyway, right. how you gonna get a white girl on black exactly. people? Exactly. But it was like, fuck it. Let me see what's happening. She pulls up, blasting music, loud as shit. So I'm like, oh, you one of those white girls, yo. So anyway, she comes to the crib, blah blah blah. We're hanging out, chilling. She's playing her music from Kansas City, and she was like, oh yeah, da da da. Just my favorite rapper, blah blah blah. She's like, can I say it? 
I'm looking at her like what? Right there. She can't ask. No, you can't. Once you ask, it's no. It's over. I said, I said, I said, say what? She said, you know, the the word. No, you can't say that. No, yeah, you can't. Of course, course I'm not. not. That, that's, 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 that's my rule. That's different. If you ask me, that's, that's what I say. Different. If you ask me, that's no, different. you can't say it. That's right. If that shit rolls off your tongue and you look me dead in my face like I don't give a fuck that you here, nigga, that means this ain't the first time you use it. And already there it. has been another nigga that has given you that pass. Right. So you know what? Who am I to take that pass away? Exactly. But you know again, I mean? if you ask me, can I say it? No. Fuck no. No, no. No, you can't say it. I but agree with you on that. Off, if I, that shit roll I mean, off I agree your tongue, with you nigga, on that. She could have only said that one time during that evening, and Chris Rock stated, when you was knee deep in her, and that bitch said, "Fuck me harder, nigga." <laughs> she gets away with it right there. This nigga. Not me, but, but not me. But not me. My thing is, not me. Trey, like, like, like I was saying before, like you met my peoples from back home, like not me, my white boys and shit, and we was in the, in the middle of a conversation, like you know they whole swag, and you know where they came from, and we was in the middle of a conversation, you heard them niggas say, "Nigga," you wouldn't even be offended because we it, never heard because Tommy because say it would have just rolled. Off so easy. I'm Tommy ain't around. never said my wife, I'm just not listen, around. Listen, I'm not around. Dirt Diesel on Facebook. That's my boy Dirt Diesel. We call him Dirty Dave, man. Dirty Dave grew up around nothing but niggas. If Dave said nigga, I wouldn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. We have made this word okay to use to other people. You know what I'm saying? Like you have put this shit out there like it's a cool thing. This is how we make the word. So you cannot be upset when motherfuckers is in the moment and they singing a song and they say nigga this, the nigga that. Like, nigga, it's the lyric. Don't get mad at them because they are quoting the lyrics. I say right. that too. That's right. all I'm saying. Like, it's right. like, that's that's the lyrics of the song. That's the song that you niggas put out there. Okay. So when everybody starts singing your lyrics, nigga, who's to say, like, you cannot, listen, lyrics are put up. You can go look up the lyrics. I don't so if these that. are your lyrics that you wrote, <laughs> my nigga, then you have put them you know out there for saying. other people to quote and say back. So you can't be mad okay, when motherfuckers cool. say that shit and back. You, you are exactly right. But, but if a nigga oh asks me, wait, wait, if, they, if they rap it, they say, can I say, you it? say that? No, nah, you can't. You are exactly right. Just know that you may be in a situation and say that shit and, and get, get fucked up. Them up. Yeah. Simple as that. And then be like, know that. listen, I, the white boys that I know that say nigga be like, nigga what? Let's get down with it then. They gonna throw up with you shit. Right. And, they, and, they not, and they not hitting your ass on no racist shit. They just hitting your ass on some nigga shit. <laughs> yo, 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 I, I'm, I'm going to say some real random shit. And, oh, and I'm just letting y'all know I'm going to say some real random shit right oh, now. But, okay, so you know how they got like pork rinds and shit, right? Oh, hell. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. you know what I mean? This is some real random shit. So imagine if Popeye's chicken was selling... Chicken rinds? No, 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 no. <laughs> if, if they were selling the chicken sandwich... With with instead a, of a instead of French bread. fries instead of French fries the French pork. fries <laughs> what the fuck is a French <laughs> fries what the fuck is a French <laughs> fries <laughs> that's a random shit right there <laughs> instead of French <laughs> fries <laughs> instead of know hey, what I mean that is my new shit <laughs> can I get a large order of French fries let me get some French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but what you know the I mean? fuck is a French fry? You know what I mean, but it, but if these niggas were selling motherfucking uh, uh, the chicken sandwich, and instead of French fries, they were selling motherfucking chicken oh. rinds, nigga. I this think I, I think it'd be a lot more. Anyway, anyway I said, have y'all seen but the new let Dolomite? Me finish. Yeah, let me finish. Yeah, 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 Dolomite. No, I, mean, I told you, I told you it was random. I told you it was random. Now I mean, I, 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 I want I, I, rinds out of. Okay. Chicken rinds. Now I mean, rinds. support chicken rinds. Now I mean, with watermelon juice. It's better than. Uh, <laughs> 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 this nigga, this nigga <laughs> just turned into Sambo <laughs> on this nigga. That nigga just painted his face <laughs> black and his lips red. Like, no, 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 yes, no, 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 no. Right after this, I will say this though. I, I, what I will the say, fuck is watermelon juice, yo? Nigga, what you eat the watermelon juice? You have drank watermelon juice. I don't count like the from. You have drank. Watermelon juice? No, not drink it, nigga. You eat it when niggas. You never had watermelon juice? Simply lemonade. Simply got watermelon. Are you serious? You never had watermelon juice? No, no, I haven't had it in the cup. No, you forgot. Okay, hey, listen. Anyway, anyway, that nigga from New York City. That nigga forgot how to be black. New York City. You forgot how to be black. Yeah, no, 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 no,
Simply, it's in the cup? Simply. It's in the cup? That, drink, that nigga was drinking Mota Goya. You was drinking that Mota Goya. You was drinking that Mota Goya. Now, I mean, but now, I mean, I will. That nigga only knows pizza. Yo, 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 listen. Listen. No, no, no. No, he from the Bronx. Nah, nah, nah. He went to Spanish restaurants and shit. He had the the rice and the Jamaican restaurants. Now, I mean, look, now, I mean, we see coming. Now, I mean, this is the thing where I was trying to get to. What y'all think about that that um professor? You know what I mean? On Halloween, he dressed up as Common. He was white and he had the the, the black. He knew better, Kamen. especially you heard about this, right? Com- yes, he what knew happened? better. It's the nigga wanted to be Common in the computer commercial where he wearing a suit talking about you know how the world is changing. Okay. Right. So he did that for his students, and he's a white dude. He painted himself white. I mean black. He did the blackface thing. Yeah. But he was saying I was just trying to imitate motherfucker. Right. In Hold this on, day and time age, time 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 everything time that's time been time going time on with dumb motherfuckers doing that ahead of you, you knew what the fuck you was doing, bro. I am so listen. Time like out. Shit. I don't give a no. fuck. I'm so tired of niggas being fucking uh, one-sided and motherfucking getting offended. Like, hold on. What's the name of them made a whole movie called White Girls, where they dress themselves up as white bitches? So? Niggas. So, so if a nigga want... Let me finish. Let me finish. Let them play this devil, I, I, devil's I don't, advocate. I don't know what this nigga's... I don't know what his purpose was. I don't know <laughs> if he's racist or none of that shit. But if he, he is not to be okay, if he's not racist and this nigga want to be fucking common sense, why the fuck are y'all mad? Because like nigga, in order for a white man to be common sense, he's gonna have to paint his. But common black. sense is already light skinned. Why you gotta he make yourself look? He ain't white though. He do not not word, but that though. nigga made himself look darker than common. He did make himself your complexion. Yeah, he don't, he, yeah, guess no, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? White folks, they hey, they don't, they not, they not professionals on black color. Listen. My my thing is this. I'm just tired of people getting so offended, get man. So, so, so my, my thing is this. I'm just tired of people getting offended. Here's the thing. If you know white people are racist, nigga, why are you getting offended at racist shit that they do? That's my thing. Stop wasting your en- stop wasting your energy. <laughs> and then here's the thing. Stop accusing people who are not racist of being racist if they just love your black ass. But the student nigga. got but the student got offended. Now I mean, like I mean, how, how are you supposed to be in a class and you feel offended by your professor by doing that? But question, nigga, again, question. that's niggas being I, offended. I so how, how many black people dress up as white people? Like if a I wanna, lot. If, no, if I if I want to be Thor, am, am I going to paint my face white? No. Exactly. You just you know where to talk Nigga, about Thor, Thor right? is a fucking made up character. So what? He's Thor still can saying. be black or white. You can pick any character. Nigga, but we're talking about a real you life person. We're not, hold on, we, time out. Any we're not, character you want. We're not talking about a fictional character. You can't dress up as common if sense. I wanna, and, hold on. I you cannot this. dress up as common sense. Here's, here's the thing. It's more racist to me if you try to dress up in common sense you, why, why and you, you still got your white face on. Nigga, that's more racial I, I to me. I don't know if I agree with that. And if, I'll say this. If I want to dress up as Trump. You showing your age by calling him common sense. If you, you wanted to dress up as, a, no, if you to dress up as Bruce Lee, would you slant your eyes? Exactly. Yes, I would. Motherfucker. <laughs> or I'm a, or or I'm gonna wear the motherfucking glasses. You gonna stop you know calling him common sense for our young for our young because uh, he's uh, common. He ain't been common sense, fuck, since nigga. I don't. I don't. I'm like, like nigga. Like, my thing is this. It's my thing is this. Shit you know not people. To do. I agree. What, what I'm like, saying is right, this. Right. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. Yeah, he know he should have did that. You have to be empathetic to other people in their in their cultures. Yes, you do. He knew he was doing. I'm listen. I'm just tired of empathy. I'm listen. I am. I am pro black all day. All day long, but I'm just so fucking tired of everybody being fucking offended. Man, if you don't like this shit, turn the other fucking cheek. Who gives a fuck? The point being is this. You're, you cannot stop somebody from feeling what the fuck they feel. So if they feel racist or if they if they want to make fun of your black ass, so the fuck what? Make fun of their white ass right back. Nigga, like, stop, <laughs> stop fucking crying all the goddamn time, man. Stop being fucking yeah. victims, man. Like, grow so the fuck somebody should have ran to the bathroom and just put on a white face. Somebody should have beat his ass. If you feel that strongly <laughs> about it, don't fucking cry all about right. it. Smack the shit out the Next motherfucker. With that. That's I, my point. Exactly. But what I'm saying is stop fucking crying, nigga. I'm tired you. of motherfuckers crying all the time. If somebody Agreed. offends you that motherfucking much, Smack the fuck out of him or shut the fuck up. I agree. Period. I agree. Like nigga, like you cannot, you cannot change people's opinions or views on you. Like I said, we don't know if this nigga was racist or not. Maybe this nigga just loved coming that fucking much. And if he did, why should he have to hide that? Well, why should why should his love for common he's not or wanting to be no common more. or want, exactly? <laughs> but, and that, and that shit's well, fucked hey, up. Hey, 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 that shit's well, fucked well, up. Well, this is this simple. This is this simple. Did, did, nigga, hold on, let, let me ask you a question. Did he paint his lips red? Did he paint his lips red? Well, well, like that. But listen, well, listen, well, listen. I grew up in a crip neighborhood and I love the Chicago Bulls. I know good and well I ain't walking outside in a Bulls jersey. 
that's the likeness he should have used right there. Nigga, guess what? If niggas in your hood knew you and loved you, then they would know you love the Chicago Bulls, and that shit ain't even gonna but fucking matter. But you know, matter. if you in the wrong hood with the wrong jersey, but we not, exactly. we not, but we not talking he was about in the niggas. wrong hood with the Listen, wrong jersey. This on. hat, this hat. We just said how stupid that shit was, was though. We, we know what that shit, is. bro. Yeah. I'm like. Yo, I, I was out there, and it's like, yo, yeah, you want to, you might want to take that you hat off. That I'm hat like, yeah, because yeah, that's like, East Coast Crips. Yeah, yo, it's, all day. And, and I'm in a Crip neighborhood. Yeah. I was in a Crip neighborhood. It was like, you might want to take that off. And, and my, and my fucking card again. I'm not taking this off. It's matching my Air Max. I'm good. Fuck that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's what, nigga, I'm, I'm taking it off. I'm just saying, man. Like, yo, like, like, we need to, like, people. Some people should not be, because some people get hurt behind doing something that's real in their heart, and because other people want to take it in a different way. Now you have to pay a consequence. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I like, again. Saying. I'm not. I'm not taking a position on this shit either way because I don't know that man's intentions. But however, I what I'm saying is, if his intentions was genuine, if this nigga was just a real common fan and said, "Fuck it, I want to be common," like we got to stop getting offended for that shit. Like, so how, like, how far do you go then? How, like how far do you go? Like, like, like my what, thing is this. Like, like I said, did, did he have shoe polish on his face and had his lips red? Then that's a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? But if this he nigga tried brown listen, paint, but if okay, because yeah, nigga don't know where the fuck to buy page paint, yeah, nigga, like that's not makeup. his fault. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, all he wants to do is he wants to portray a black man. I'm not black. I want to portray a black man. This is the best way to do it. And what I'm saying is, if it was not, if it wasn't malicious, and this is my thing, we have to learn how to it, how how to how to determine. Perception is everything. We did a video about perception. I did about right. smoking cigarettes. Yeah. But perception is everything. And my thing is. It's like, yo, if you you have to learn how to decipher if somebody's being malicious or if somebody's showing a genuine love. I agree you know what I'm saying? If somebody's showing a genuine love, like fucking man, welcome that motherfucker. I like them, like you a different you race and you that? love and you how love this you nigga that much. That? How do you determine? Because you can tell, nigga. Like if is, is the nigga character? Like, nigga, For right? Who? You can you can nigga. You like, bail, you black. You're yeah. not stupid. Yeah. If you know if you know your professor, you're a college educated motherfucker. Exactly. Here's my thing. If let's say, for instance, you had a class and your professor is always talking about rap or hip hop or this that and the other, or if your you know he like that. You know what I'm saying? Then you know your your professor has. A love for Me black as people. An individual. Kind, kind, listen, kind of like that nigga we was listening to on exactly, the way down here. Exactly. If you know a that nigga has a genuine has a genuine love for black people versus somebody who's trying to make That's fun like of G black Easy people. Saying, My thing is comments. black black people. Eminem. We have been around long enough to to know the difference. You know what I'm saying? You know when somebody's poking fun of you, and you know when somebody's just it, embracing it, you. It, it depends, and that's all but, I'm saying. It depends, on, it depends on the individual. Everyone interprets oh something differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you may interpret something differently based off how you grew up. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you're, your demographic, everything. Everyone interprets something differently. So I may think about it like, okay, he doesn't mean it that way, but somebody else knew. Okay, so again, they might like I said, perception. <laughs> they they, they mill. Somebody <laughs> mill. God damn, you niggas need to stop drinking this goddamn do say. I got a question. Goddamn, question. Goddamn, this is totally off the top. Leon. But uh, everybody at this table here got a dog, right? You got a dog? No. You don't got a dog? All right, Trey, you got a dog. I got a dog. Dice, you got a dog. Yeah, Either one of y'all let y'all dog in the bed. No, yes. hell no. Hell no. I do. Dice, I'm with you. Dice, I'm with you on hell no. Listen, I said no at first. I I said no at first, but. You know what? That's the homie. That's because you know, never had a dog. Nigga, you know, I've had two dogs. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga? <laughs> this nigga just going to tell you about your right. life. Uh, this is what I'm saying. The nigga, no the nigga always speak up on somebody's shit and always has the wrong fucking answer. I, th I thought you didn't I like dogs. I brought the topic up because the I one. got into it with, 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 with uh, uh, a <clears> young lady because she would tell me not to wear my jeans in the bed. In the bed. you outside. But, but you would put the same... Three inch dog that been walking around with his Listen. stomach four feet from the ground and then walk all over knows. the neighbor, but he can sleep on the and, bed. And then my dog outside. knows. Listen, he can I have rules. Sniff, right on the bed, I have rules. I can sit on the bed. I have my rules. I have Lick rules. Lick their ass. I have right rules. And my dog, crazy. my dog knows the rules. One, he cannot be on the sheets. He knows that. So where the fuck is he at? He's on, on this. On, on, let me on secondly, the comforter. Secondly, he's at the foot of the bed. He does not come up towards the head of the bed. He is always at the foot of the bed. And if he lays in between, like, sometimes he'll lay in between me and Rosa. But, again, he's, like, in feet. between our legs. He's in between our legs. He does not come up over the cover. He does not lay on the sheets. He knows that is a no-no. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can lay at the foot of the bed if you in the bed. You I know, know chicks that will let their dogs peruse all through the bed, but then tell yeah. you to take your jeans off. That's ridiculous it as is. fuck to me. It is. It is. That is the listen, most ridiculous listen, shit on the planet. That is just a ploy to. That is just a ploy to get you out of your clothes. Listen, I remember when I listen. I remember. <laughs> you ain't had to listen, do no ploy. No, time out. I'm keeping my jeans on. You don't. You don't. You don't know that. But listen, 
I remember in my early twenties, I used to have a I used to have a rule when women coming over my house. You can't get in my bed in street clothes. Honestly, I really didn't give a fuck, but it sounded like a great rule. That sound. And if you said it and they went for it, I'm sticking to it. I had the same rule, Trey, but I'm you know what saying. saying. There are no street clothes, and I got that shit from my homeboy's mom uh, back in the day when I was yeah. growing up. She didn't allow, no, like, you couldn't sit on nobody's bed in your street clothes. Like, yeah. that wasn't happening. Let's you know um, 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 before we turn around, right? let's, let's get back to Dolomite. Excellent movie. Excellent. Did you, did you, have you seen Dolomite? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo. Did y'all I'll, see the original Dolomite yes. before y'all watched yeah, it? Yeah, of course, of course. Multiple times, I mean, ages ago. Yeah, I, I watched it. I rewatched it again a week before I knew Eddie Murphy shit was coming out because right. I wanted to refresh my memory. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd seen it before several times, but I wanted to check it out again. Human Tornado. And I, was I, still I think one they, of they nailed. I they think they did a great job. Yeah. They nailed that movies. shit. They nailed that motherfucker like a motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They nailed that shit. I like the fact <laughs> that um, Wesley Snipes was hilarious. That, that he was. Motherfucker, I, I, that motherfucker so I, played the bougiest it was, motherfucker. It was, funny, it was funny to me because <laughs> you must be the Dolomite. Worst Dolomite I was a met Dolomite was a horrible movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As like as far as how it was shot, it was horrible. But it's, it shows uh, why so, it happened. Exactly. <laughs> so when that nigga be like, uh, cut, nigga, I was dying laughing. I'm like, so that's how they got those scenes, yeah, right? Like they right. really like that nigga really did this shit. That's how I was like, he really did this. When shit. When nigga was over there doing that karate and shit against the motherfuckers and doing that nigga, and, 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 and that nigga turned around. His homeboy said, <laughs> <laughs> "Nigga, I died laughing." Yeah, that's that a shit really was good hilarious. movie. Speaking it was. so with that though, you know this is spelling the resurgence of, of Eddie Murphy. We about to get Coming to America too, and right. we about to get another Beverly Hills Cop, and we about to get what will be considered the the sequel or you know the next evolution of his stand up comedy post Raw. How right, right, right. And, 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 and he's doing Saturday Night Live. And he's doing Saturday Night Live. And I seen him say. In the interview, he don't want to do Saturday Night Live if he can't do the characters that he did when he Buckwheat. was doing Buckwheat. He got to do Buckwheat. He got to do Buckwheat. He got to do Bumby. He got to do, nah, he gotta nah. do, he gotta do uh, Velvet uh, Jones. That nigga got to do James Velvet Brown, Jones. nigga. Hot tub. Nigga. Uh, Go Mr. Rogers. Sweat. He got to do Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Mr. Robinson. Yeah. Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. And he said he want to do all of that. So, But how y'all feel about how y'all feel about him coming back to comedy? I, I think the people was waiting for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't it. wait to see it. Now, I mean, he got so much shit to talk about after all this time, nigga. Like, like up, they should give him a two-hour special instead of like an hour. It's like this. Yeah. It's like this. Or two one-hour Comedy special. for me is like, comedy sometimes can be like hip-hop. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that he played out. your style can be, you know, it's just old style. Outdated. So, but if you're great finish, like that. Nigga, let me finish like my that, fucking yeah. thing. It, it don't matter, nigga. Run DMC was great, but... And they drop on today's time, they're not trying to hear it. But they were great for that time. They were great. They were phenomenal. Sinbad nigga. is still good. Sinbad is great, but Sinbad has been practicing. Sinbad is a he's been a continuous working comic. I just, comic. just let me finish, nigga. Go ahead. All I'm saying is, I just hope that there are some things that and, and I know Eddie, so I just hope that I don't I don't know him, but you know what I'm saying? I, I know I know his work. You know what, what I'm saying? I I know his work. Yeah, right, so right, I'm saying. right, right. So um, I feel that he will he would make the proper adjustments. I just hope that he does. I just hope that he doesn't come with a style that is I don't think that he can feels use that old. style no more. Yeah, One, I just don't feel like say half the shit that he said on that. Think of how he was talking about think about his use of the word faggot in delirious. I knew you were about to say that's why I put the finger up. You see me put the finger up. I try listen, I'm people, saying I try to stop him. I'm not I try to stop it, him. I'm not saying you didn't have to you could you could have said the F word. Saying, you could have said the F word. We you know what I'm saying? Nigga on here and just like let him finish, we man. say nigga. If I can't say we say nigga. nigga cause we nigga. But if a white dude said nigga, you gonna write into the fucking show. Okay. Uh All right, just, so go ahead. think of his use of that word. F word. The, uh, the F word. Yeah, we go. For, for, for political See, correctness. That's all. That's okay, all. So we, 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 we try not to offend no audience that members. That's he all. couldn't do that now. He couldn't do a lot of the things no, he the couldn't. way he said them back yes, he then. Can. He can't now. Nah, he couldn't do it. Nah. If he did it how Dave Chappelle did it without saying Dave it. Chappelle received a lot of flack. Dave yeah. Chappelle got a lot he of backlash. So what? For that shit. He didn't lose no, he didn't lose. We nothing. didn't we ain't saying he did, but he got a lot of flack. So what? So, but it was funny. My, but as fuck. here's the thing. But Dave People Chappelle, stop, Dave being, Chappelle being also so, had so three sensitive. episodes last. It three, depends on how Eddie specials does it. last year. It depends so on how Eddie does all it. I'm saying is this. You know what I'm saying? Um, the movies I know are gonna hit. Um, I can't wait. To see I just, I movie. just really hope that his stand up, like I just hope he makes the the proper transitions. That's all I'm saying. You right. know what I'm saying? The, bring it up to date. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Paul, right. we about out of time. 
We had a whole bunch. Of, listen, game. funny thing is, we had a whole bunch of shit that we didn't even get to. See. Yeah, like the Lakers to. is doing real good. Woo! And we didn't even look at them Lakers. Have, Here's my thing. No, LeBron I, is doing real good. LeBron, LeBron is the doing Lakers. real good. No. LeBron and the Lakers. No, the team is doing good. No, you know what I mean, LeBron and the Lakers. That's how I like I to said refer that, to them. I said this before Damn, the before the season up. started. I'm LeBron and listen, I said I said this before the season started, and y'all can quote me on this. I don't think they're gonna lose. I don't think they're gonna lose more than twenty games. Okay. I don't, I don't think they're going to lose more than 20. Okay. I, I I have an over and under bet with somebody on that, too. I, I said that they uh, it was 16 to 25. At the most, they're going to, you know what I mean? At the and most. they still only lost one game? Yeah. Yep. They might be shooting for Stephen in his record. They're not going to nah, They're it. not shooting they're for Stephen in right? I just they're said they shoot this. <laughs> somebody said that to me the other they're day in the shop. Somebody said that to me the other day in the shop. I was like, nigga. We still in the first part of the season. Shut exactly. that shit up. Yeah. Talking to me about uh, talking to me that shit after the fucking dealt, right. stuff. Anyway, Paul is giving us a sign. We need to wrap this shit up. This has been another episode of Barbershop, Barbershop Talk, Talk Like, like this. this. I'm your host, Trey the Barber. And this your other host, Dice the Barber. Cause you're the building. Bell, fuck it. Here we go. Wow. And we out this bitch. Peace. Peace.